let us solve this example so in this example we have to find a limit of a scalar valued function at x y is equal to 0 0 right so that means this is a given function and uh, this definition is given in this way if x y is not equal to 0 we have first definition and if x y is equal to 0 simply we have a 0 so now you as you can see in this diagram our x y is moving towards 0 0 so there are many ways it can approach from this side this side this side uh, this side many ways are there and we have to prove that that limit does not exist okay so let us start to do so see i am going to consider a limit here consider limit x y tends to 0 0 f of x y okay so this is equal to limit x y tends to 0 0 what is my f of x y this is x square minus y square upon x square plus y square okay so what will i do we have a two variables i am trying to convert this problem in a single variable so what i am doing i am putting simply here y is equal to mx putting y is equal to mx so see what will happen therefore the limit is equal to the limit that means the same limit we are talking about huh so see limit so now y is equal to mx the entire problem will convert into x now so simply i will write x tends to 0 x square here i am putting mx so minus m square x square in denominator also y is equal to mx so m square x square so tell me how to solve this limit tell me can i take x square common from numerator obviously i can take x square common from numerator so in bracket we will have 1 minus m square in denominator also we can take x square common so we will have x square 1 plus m square so what will happen x square x square will get cancelled okay so yeah so this is equal to i will solve here this is equal to limit x tends to 0 1 minus m square upon 1 plus m square now i am applying the limit that means simply i am putting x is equal to 0 but see there is no any x it term is simply 1 minus m square upon 1 plus m square that means it is independent on x so if you apply the limit you will have same 1 minus m square upon 1 plus m square okay but see m is not fixed m is any arbitrary real number so that means if i consider for m is equal to 0 if i consider m is equal to 0 in that case limit will be if i put 0 1 minus 0 upon 1 plus 0 so it is 1 but if i consider for m is equal to 1 okay if i consider m is equal to 1 limit is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus 1 so 1 minus 1 0 so we'll have 0 okay we'll remove this part that means what we are getting actually for m is equal to 0 the value of limit is 1 but if i consider m is equal to 1 value of limit is 0 that means we are for different values of m we are we are getting a different values of limit it is not possible so therefore we can declare the for different values of m we are getting different values of limit for different values of m we get different limiting values limiting values so therefore we will declare therefore above limit does not exist you are getting the point see what is the geometry behind it i will tell you huh? what is the geometry behind it so that means we have to reach to 0 0 agree with me so if you follow a straight line then answer is different and if you follow part of parabola then answer is different that means if you change the path we are getting different values of limit so it should not happen okay if the limit exists we are getting different values that means definitely limit does not exist so you can make a screenshot of it and after that we'll go for a next problem okay please okay so let us consider this second example so in this example they have given a function like this and definition is valid only for x y is not equal to 0 okay so our target is same we have to prove that limit does not exist 
i hope you have understood the technique what we do we start to solve the limit and after that we consider a particular path or we use some particular substitution okay and we try to remove x and y both of them from the entire expression and we try to express all things in terms of m only right and after that for a different values of m we get a different limiting values and finally we conclude that limit does not exist so this is our strategy okay so let us start to uh, do the same thing here limit x y tends to 0 0 okay same thing i am doing so let us put the value of f of x y it is x y square upon 4 x square plus y raised to 4 see this problem is not that much simple okay like a previous problem so uh, see we have to maintain the power of numerator and denominator same then only we can conclude okay so what will i do here i am putting okay putting see some i am putting x is equal to m y square okay if i use this substitution i hope uh, y power of or uh, y and power uh, in, from numerator and denominator those will get cancelled and I, uh, we will get expression in terms of m only so let us see so therefore the limit is equal to the limit is equal to limit entire thing we will have in terms of y so therefore i am writing simply y tends to 0 so here m y square into y square in denominator 4 right at a place of x i am putting m y square so and as well as we have to take square also so m square and y square square that means y raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 i think you can tell me the next step right so what will happen m y square into y square obviously we can write y raised to 4 and from denominator also we can take y raised to 4 common so if i take y raised to 4 common so if we will have 4 m square plus 1 so now it's very easy to cancel y raised to 4 from numerator and denominator both okay so yeah we will have so this is equal to limit y tends to 0 so y raised to 4 y raised to 4 cancel so m upon 4 m square plus 1 so let us apply the limit okay what is our limit y tends to 0 but see there is no any term of y so the entire expression is independent on y so we'll have the same term so therefore this is same as m upon 4m square plus 1 so let tell me what will happen if i consider m is equal to 0 in that case the value of limit is equal to 0 if i simply put m is equal to 0 and see for m is equal to 1 if i put if i put m is equal to 1 the value of limit will be 1 upon this 4 plus 1 that means 1 by 5 so what i want to say for a different values of m we are getting different limiting values so therefore therefore i can declare limit does not exist the reason is same since for different values of m we are getting different limiting values okay so in this way we calculate make a screenshot of it and after that we stop okay thank you bye